what is going up guys it's your boy Raph here bringing you another daily video today we're gonna have be doing a tutorial on how to get twitch and how to use it so twitch is a effect slash plugin which looks like kind of this like basically that kind of weird twitches uh, from time to time you see the best example will be on my intro here like this kind of glitching glitching effect so this is basically a twitch um, and yeah some people ask me about to do this tutorial so here it is shout out to Jimmy um, and to Nathan yeah yeah so first thing you wanna do is is it record yeah okay so first thing you wanna do is go to this link I'm gonna provide in the description it's basically a twitch um, all you do is click download it will take a second uh, and it will do download right so once you download it and it's literally as simple as just kind of opening this file and dropping drag and drop into a um, drag and drop in it to the folder so yeah so first um, I like to always extract the files um, Twitch yeah so here is the things you're gonna need so you're gonna just copy this um, and then you're gonna go to here so basically wh where you wanna go to is to your disk program files Adobe uh, Adobe After Effects uh, for some reason I have like three of them um, let's go for CC uh, 2015 support files plugins um, yeah and effects uh, and basically just copy and paste it here I've already done this um, yeah so I don't really need it to do it or you could either do this way or just kind of copy and paste the entire twitch folder here um, same here literally same here it works either way so either you go here or here like paste it into this and that's all basically and that's how you get your twitch for free um, yeah simple right as also you could just uh, paste this those are just presets I don't you don't really need them um, you can just paste them into your preset folder so yeah, I haven't actually done this um, because it's kind of useless. Um, so yeah, so now what you want to do is open After Effects because that's how it works. So yeah, so once your After Effects is opened, you're most likely not going to have this F window open because yeah, I have too many overlapped effects, um, which you don't really have to worry about. Um, so yeah, once you open it, you want to create a new composition. Best would be to do it um, uh, new composition, uh, frame rate. Nope, fuck off. So yeah, once you have your after effects opened uh, created a composition you'll realize in effects on presets if you open this and if it will allow me to open this in first place if you type twitch yeah twitch there should be it the plugin that you're looking for uh, which is going to be under video compilation so yeah, so I will show you now how to actually use Twitch since it is the most overused effect I've been dealing with recently. So I will just drag a random footage to my composition. Yeah, it's just me swinging on a chair. So, so fun. Okay, so basically to use the, the effect, you could either drag this Twitch onto the the clip itself which is the way most people do it or you could do it my way which is basically creating adjustment layer which is shortcut for it control out y to create a shortcut or you could go to right click new and adjustment layer so once you created adjustment layer 
you put a twitch on top of it and now you play around with the figures kind of that's what I usually stick on and now enable and that's the entire part which is the most important basically you're toggling what you want in your twitch what I always go with is blur so you just get this kind of blur random blurs as also slide slide here see so now if I play it it's just a bit see so it's just basically twitching around already uh, obviously all of them do different things so scale will make it play around with the scale see so that already changes the thing lighting adds lighting to it color obviously adds color and time you can play around with the time remapping so that's how it works so when you see my type of transitions what I always do is go with blur slide about 28 uh, sometimes play more speed to it so that's for the enable bit and then you go to operation controls uh, slide and RGB split you kind of set it to about 20 30 and you see already the basically it separates red green and blue lines like overlays um, so you get this nice effect which everyone is after so now see what's happening yeah so basically what I would always do is kind of have a nice chunks of it here so it's like there is no effect suddenly suddenly it basically appears for a second and then maybe duplicate this with Control D just move it around and you have another bits of it and then if you want you could kind of tra uh, transition it to another like clip maybe make it this bit more like um, amount higher uh, maybe speed bit higher um, and halfway through the clip uh, close this clip and maybe drag another footage to it uh, just drag and drop the footage drag it under and that's actually my footages from pa Paris and basically what you have is transition so if I would play it now yeah see how it works and I'll just turn off the switch um, yeah so here's me whistling on a chair and then I have another footage and yeah you can always play around it doesn't have to be the shaky bit sometimes what I like to do is basically just have like a light um, so what I sometimes do is guy called go to enable I can't I can keep I yeah I just turn on blur light kind of color and basically bump this up to like way higher so now what we're gonna have is this this kind of effect where it's just like brighten everything up and it just quite quite looks nice and you could literally play around with it so it doesn't have to be this way like you can just t like toggle timing on see it already works like yeah so that's how you basically play around with a twitch twitch is a really awesome plugin you could do so much things and you can always play around with like behavior easy in easy out um, operation controls are something you want to play around with light how how light it is and stuff so yeah uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial there is nothing really much to cover with this is the way I play around with Twitch um, I hope this helped you guys get in the plugin and playing around with it because I know some of you asked me questions about how to do this quite easy effect once you know how it how to do it so I hope you enjoyed the video it's been rough See you in the next one.
i'm out.